brothers and sisters in Christ. Welcome to my channel, Jesus Wants You. I'm Nikki Pratt. Yes, I am back, back in my element, back at home. Um, I'm doing a short, quick video. I promise I won't keep you guys long. Um, but you know, if I say anything wrong, I have to go back and correct it. I have to, um, but when I, after I uploaded the, the video and listened to it, I heard a couple of things that I said wrong. Um, I have to make it right. Uh, because as you know, I don't want to lead anybody in the wrong way. You know, sometimes I get the talking and like I said before, my mouth run a little faster than my brain. My brain have to catch up. Um, but uh, besides all that, somebody may be saying, well, it sounds like you're trying to please man. Uh, no. I just know that I don't know who my listeners are um, personally, okay? And um, I have this great conviction of trying to make sure, especially dealing with scriptures, that I say the right thing. Because, you know, a lot of people that uh, serve the YouTube channels, um, God said in the last days he would pour out his spirit upon all flesh. You know, people, there are a lot of people that is hungry for the word. There are a lot of people that is on the fence. There are a lot of people that have seen things in the world and they're looking for answers. And unbeknown to our mainstream media, YouTube is where they can find these answers, right or wrong. But on this channel, I don't want any wrong because we might have some babes in Christ and that unbeliever may be looking for answers and want to be searching for um, trying to make a decision to find Christ and who he is. And I say a scripture wrong and they go and look at them and see you can't trust anybody. But, you know, Satan does a lot of things and um, we will try to trip the pure in heart up. But, um, I'm I'm very aware of that. No, I'm not saying that as to why I messed up. I was talking too fast. And I was rushing the video. But also do know that in my future videos, with me not having the, the skills to um, edit the video right now, I can't be making mistakes like that. And uh, so it's very uh, crucial to me that I say the right thing basically and no i'm not worried about you know what man says at the end of the day i'm worried about what god says because i lay up my treasures in heaven and not here on earth um i just have to make this right you know um also so i, I also after finding that out in my last video I did about Obama and Pope Francis, um, I felt like that I was leaving something out. Yes, I was. Like the crescendo or the climax of the story, what I was trying to reach and go at. I have papers everywhere. That bathroom counter is not as big as mine. So, you know, I got papers all out of whack. But, um... And I hope you guys, like I said before, if, if I say something wrong, um, don't hesitate to correct me. I'm not perfect. Um, I'm just a sinner saved by grace. I'm no minister. I'm no prophet. But you you should know them by their fruit. And if you've been following me, you know I am pure in heart, um, discerning the spirit. I am, um, I'm not perfect, basically. So, with all that said, let me tell you that... Um, the corrections. First of all, one correction I wanted to make when I was talking about um, Satan mimicking, likes to mimic Jesus. So, so true. So true. That was true. Um, but I said, um, I mentioned Jesus, Holy Trinity, and then I came behind that and said, 
Satan's holy trinity. Uh, ain't nothing holy about Satan's trinity. So I'm going to get that air clear. Nothing is holy about his trinity. Does he have a trinity? Yes, he does have a trinity. Um, but it, it, there's nothing holy about it. And after I said Jesus, holy trinity, about that trinity, God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, I came right back behind that and said, and Satan has his holy trinity. No, he don't. No. Okay? Because I don't want nobody to go and say, when he says Satan, no. <laughs> No, okay. So that's clear. Um, and also, yesterday I, I did mention um, about the famine, and it's found in Matthew 24. Now, in the video, I did say Matthew 24, but later, uh, curtailing that, somehow I mentioned Matthew 13 and 8 wrong that scripture is about the parable of the seed okay matthew 13 and 8 is the parable of the seed what jesus was talking about in the book of matthew 13 verse 8 starts off telling you about the parable of the seed okay where it talks about famines is in matthew 24 i wrote down matthew 13 and 8 for my future video which is going to be about uh, war with the seed. So somehow I made a mistake and said that, but I wanted to clear that up. So now that we got that air clear, I think that was the only two goof ups I made. But, you know, we're human. At least I caught it and I came back and uh, got it right. Okay. Now, um, some things I left out, if you guys were confused. In a nutshell, in a nutshell, um, the true God of fortresses is Catholicism, one that is idolized and worshipped. And um, let's see, the God of forces is basically the deception in the church, okay, which is, again, Catholicism, okay. The um, why idled and worshipped because that religion and it is religion. There's a lot of works in it, and um, there's a lot of idolization. And as you can see with Pope Francis, there's a lot of worshiping and idolization going on with him. Okay, now, um. This is, I'm going to, um, I kept saying it also in the video, God of Fortress says and God of Force says. Um, and I was trying to figure out how did I pull it up under the heading. And I'm going to get to that real quick. But I'm going to read to you something real fast. Um, honor. Where it says, shall he honor the God of forces, which is in Daniel chapter 8, I mean, Daniel chapter 11, verse 38. Um, and it says, this is something, actually, I told you that I pulled up um, some information under God of fortress says. You'll be amazed what came up, Okay. I'm going to read this. It says, Shall he honor the God of forces, gods, little g-gods, by the way, protectors, as in margin, worshiping saints and angels, as guardians and protectors and mediators, leaving out, in general, the true God and the only mediator, Jesus Christ. Okay? We all know who do that. The Catholic Church. And again... This is me pulling up information under God of Fortresses of uh, that was mentioned in Daniel chapter 11, verse 38. And then it says, Shall he honor with gold and silver and precious stones? Okay. Um, that's also found in Daniel chapter 11. And then it says, How literally does this apply to the church of Rome? 
See the house of Our Lady at Loretto, the shrines of saints, the decorated images, costly apparel, gold jewels, profusely used about images of saints, angels, and the Blessed Virgin in different popish or popish churches. And then it says, um, the superstition began to prevail in the 4th century and was established in 787. Uh, by the seven general council for in that the worship of images was enacted Now let me back up. I'm gonna read this again It says see the house of Our Lady and Loretto the shrines of saints The shrines of saints and you guys when I saw that I was like Wait a minute Now I'm pulling up some information off on God of fortresses and this said the Shrine of Saints. And what did Obama give Pope Francis? A seed box that was made from the Basilica of the National Shrine of the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary in Baltimore. Crescendo. Wow. Wow. That that's that's something. That that just stood out to me. And um was very very <laughs> very ironic also um i wanted to add in this too this stood out this is under the same heading god of fortress says um and a god whom his fathers knew not shall he honor never knew nor once dreamed of and yet this is received as little g god bowed unto and worshiped and honor honored obama there's a picture of him bowing down to pope francis when he met pope francis the other day oh yeah also um where is it in this um article i pulled up it says with gold silver and the precious stone stones and pleasant things with rich and costly ornaments with which the pikes or it's spelled p-y-x-i-s I can't say it, you guys, or a box, or a box, in which it is carried in procession is adorned. Obama gave Pope Francis his gift in a box. So, so, so ironic. And um, the last thing, I, I did go over this yesterday, but I'll recap. The God of Forces, which is also mentioned in um, 11, Daniel chapter 11, verse 38. Um, <laughs> it's, um, it was pulled up, I pulled it up under God of Forces. And I told you yesterday that it said the Antichrist will speak marvelous things against the God of Gods. He will revive the lies first told by Satan in the Garden of Eden. Yeah. Hmm. And what did it bring up? Um, Adam and Eve and the garden in this little article that I have right here pulled off. It talks about Adam and Eve and, and the story when Satan lied and um, lied to him in, in the garden. It was so ironic how um i came about all this um well i shouldn't say ironic we know who um uh, lead us into all spiritual wisdom and truth um unbelievable it's 15 minutes already i'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up you guys it's getting um the bible is surely fulfilling itself at a very fast pace um, my future videos, uh, War with the Seed, um, I'm supposed to do a little something special for my subscribers. And, and by the way, I really, really, really appreciate every subscriber that subscribed to my channel. Why? Because you guys could be doing anything. You could be at a friend's house, you could be clubbing, you could be partying, but, um, 
you take the time out and, and listen to me um, about uh, what's going on in the world, about Jesus, all that. And do know that we live in the days where a lot of people don't even want to hear about Jesus. And you take out the time to do that. So I really appreciate you guys. Um, whatever it is that I have to do to get anyone to on that narrow road to follow Christ, I'm going to do that, just that. Singing, dancing, whatever. Whatever he leads me to do, I'm going to do it. I want to be um, a laborer in this harvest, getting people ready. And that's what my channel is all about, getting you ready. All right, I'm going to close this video. Look out for my future videos this week. And I love you guys. See you next video. Thanks.